Hey, look, it's your old binoculars. Amazing. Let's find Rose. Mm. Oh, Rose? Rose. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we need to find her. Oh, yes, I know we look like dolls, but we're actually her parents. I know who you are. Nothing escapes my lenses. Look. What, in, in here? All right, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, huh. Oh! 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 I look dead. Am I dead? You're not dead. Oh. What? What's going on? Oh, no. What's the matter with us? Hmm. All I know is that Rose sat down there with her dolls, and then you two came alive. Just like that? You didn't see anything else? Well, there was one unusual thing. Why? What happened? She was crying. Oh. I know, quite unusual for Rose, but I am 100% sure because I could see her tears falling onto the dolls. Tears were falling onto the dolls. Oh, wait a minute. I know what happened. It's a spell! Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cody. We've got to apply logic. Nay, okay, we are having a conversation with a pair of binoculars. Hmm? There is no logic in that. For goodness sake, I don't even believe in spells. Okay, well, did you believe that you could be turned into a wooden doll? Huh? Exactly. It had to be the tears. It was a spell, I am telling you. So, if it is a spell, how do we break it? Okay, I got this. Yeah, me and Rose, we read all about this spell stuff. I'm a virtual wizard right now, okay? Just give me some space, I need to think. Okay, so if the spell was cast through her tears, then in order to break it... Oh. <laughs> in order to break it, we have to reverse it through her tears! Boom! <laughs> right. Okay, we basically have to find her and make her cry on us again. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, do you know where to find her, Miss Binoculars? Ooh. She's in her room. Go on. Okay. Thanks. Uh, come on, mate. Uh, oh, but how do we get to her room from here? Easy. We just climb the tree. Uh, oh, this way. Uh, what? You're never going to make that jump. Yeah? Watch me. Uh, oh, God damn it. Coming through, Lombard. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Come on over. <laughs> we'll throw us the rope. It's too far. Cody, where there is love, no distance is too far. Hey. Oh, shut up and just throw us the rope. Okay, okay, man, relax. Come on, huh? huh? You want the rope? You want the rope? Come on, you want it? You want it? Come on, come on. Take it! Woo! Woo! All right, let's swing across. Yeah, but whoa, that, that tree is huge. Don't worry about it. The ropes will take us to Rose. Uh, Don't worry about it. The ropes will take us to Rose in an uh, instant. Again? Oh, I told Rose not to throw her shoes up here. Oops. Uh, I told her I did that when I was a kid. So you're the guilty. So you're the guilty one. She's outgrown them anyway. Um, did you build a treehouse for Rose? No. Why do you ask? Oh, there are windows. Oh. Hey. oh. Who could have built those? Hey, there's our swing. Finally, a use for that thing. Let's get across. Yeah. I, I, I don't see a way to get to Rose's room yet. Let's get higher. Woo! Weird, but useful. 
Is that our potlet? What's it doing up here? Looks like. Looks like. I'm a superhero with a rope. Uh, you're a clay man with a rope. Yeah, beware the clay man. Look, Cody, a door. A door in a tree? I don't like it. We gotta get to Rose's room. But can't you see how far away it is? Yes, I can see how far away it is. That's why we gotta keep moving. Yeah, maybe there's someone inside who can help us. Really? Whoa, 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 wait. What, what are you doing? We don't know what's inside there. Come on, it might be a shortcut to the house. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if it's... Who sent you? No one. Uh... <laughs> We come in peace. We're trying to get to the house. The house? What's your business there? We haven't got time for this. Is this a shortcut or not? Oh, 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 great. Oh, I told you this was a bad idea. Not helpful. Come on, help me push. It's too heavy. Why the glass jar? Well, at least we can see through it. Oh, that's great, May. We're imprisoned, but the view is amazing. Dad? Dad, I have to tell you something. It's important. Uh, have you heard of this book by, um, Dr. Hakim? Uh, he says that it's important to forgive each other. Because then... You can become friends again. If you want, you can borrow the book. Okay. You're busy. Sorry. <laughs> Cody, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> been better, but I'm okay. Are you working for the wasps? Uh, what? The wasps? Don't play dumb. Did they send you here to kill us? What? Kill you? No. We're not working for any wasps. We'll see you side, you're on. Pull a switch. You got it, chief. Oh, oh, get away, get away, get away. Boss, it doesn't look like they're on the Wasp's team. And why don't they die? Maybe they have superpowers. What if they can help us? Let's find out. Abort. Oh. Oh. oh, you okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, oh. just about. That was terrible. Horrendous. Oh. 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 Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh my gosh. Hey there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Big Squirrel. Oh. So, you want to get to the house? Yes. We can get you there. Really? You? Oh. That's very, um, kind. On one condition. <laughs> What do you mean? Follow me. Come on, come on. This is a terrible idea. Come on, Cody. I don't want to go. Wow. They must be real hoarders. Hey, mate, that's our remote control. They stole it. Those sneaky rodents. Look, our family photos. What could they want with those? I don't know, but we look good. Uh, hey, that's my underwear. Oh, hardly a loss. You used to love that underwear. Mm, used to. The wasps have invaded our tree and wiped out most of our tribe. 
you two must kill them. What? <laughs> we can't kill those crazy creatures, you nuts. No, no offense. Don't worry, you'll just survive two of them. Against a whole swarm of them, surely we'll die. That's why you're going to need these. My latest in cyber hazelnut technology, the tree sap Hapshiki 57. Oh. Huh. oh. Combined with a drill buzzer X200. There's one more thing. We sent in an undercover agent who could operate our queen robot. As planned, the wasps believed the robot was their real queen. But instead of wiping out the wasps, our agent was seduced by its power and switched sides. So, kill the wasps and the agent in the robot and we'll help you get to the house. Understood? Uh, yeah, sure, but uh, isn't there a more civilized way that we can... Whoa! Uh, 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 oh, I really don't want to have to kill giant wasps. Well, you wouldn't have to if you'd cleaned out the hive. What? What, what hive? Remember? In the real world? In our tree? I asked you so many times and you promised to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. But we wouldn't even be here if you hadn't knocked on the squirrel's door. Well, at least they're going to lead us to the house. What, are you kidding me? You, you, you believe that? I don't trust those squirrels. They stole my underwear. Oh, believe me. That was a blessing. Oh, really? Well, at least my underwear is now a sophisticated part of a flying machine. Oh, I sincerely doubt it can fly. Of course you do. Ugh. You know what? I can't wait to get back to my real body so that we can get divorced. Oh, me too. Oh. Uh, May? Uh, May, what now? I guess it's time to kill some wasps. What? Alone? Don't worry, we've got weapons. What, you mean these homemade squirrel DIY drill bazer tap shiky things? Oh, you saw how powerful they are. Let's drill baz. This is impressive. I'm getting spooky by it. Can you please turn back? I'm afraid that will be possible. We've sealed the doors behind you to protect against the wolf. Your only way out is through the wolf's lair over there. On the other side. This was ready.
Interesting. They're experimenting on a skateboard. They really are nuts. Look at those Tesla coils. These squirrels seem far more capable than I thought. Yes, I see you happen upon my old facility. They're really nuts. Yeah, no. uh, those barbaric wasps could never understand the potential of hazelnut technology. It's gone now. Down we go.
Oh, man. My legs hurt. My feet hurt. When we get out of this mess, I'm having a cold beer. I'm having two. What if we're stuck here? You're stuck like this. You don't know that. We'll get to Rose and break the spell. No. What if we never get to her? Yeah, please stop talking and keep running. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 
shooters! To the Queen! You will not pass! Two on one, huh? You must be destroyed here! One scary queen. Don't worry. It's just a squirrel inside a robot. Yeah. A very big robot. It's trying to kill us. You know, maybe we should just turn back. Are you cheekening out? No. No, no. We were just, you know, exploring the, uh... The premises. Right. I think you look scared like two little chickens. No, not at all. We were just scouting. Preparing for the mission. Yeah, right. Preparation is key. Good, but remember, collaboration is also key. This is a very dangerous operation. Thanks for reminding us. You're welcome, man. Eh? Hey, got it. You done? No. That book is really annoying. Oh, my God. 
Who's can? here at least. Hey, you're pretty good with that match gun. Thanks, Cody. You too. Keep up the sap. King. Huh. So were the squirrels running away from something? All right, there he goes. Whoa. I think they're bringing out the big guns now. Wait, who's that? Take the hammer! You just walk, Cody.
Something? We don't need oars, Cody. We've got an engine. We do? Where? Uh, it's in your hand. What? Ah. Not just a wooden face, May. Uh, yeah, very funny. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Hey, it works! Woo! <laughs> All guns should be as handy as this. Everything has multiple features. You just need to see them. So you're an engineer. You know about gadgets. Nature's my thing. Mm, that's not really helping us. There's more law by. Come up above. They're all yours, Captain. I'll steer the boat.
deadly beauty. Jellyfish can be lethal. We better get moving. Look, the lights. Let's go. Cody, steer straight ahead. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, hang on! Oh, damn you, Cody! This isn't 
You know, I am getting really tired of falling. Well, be grateful you're in good shape. Oh, yeah? Thanks, May. <laughs> I meant good shape in this world. Oh, I see. So you're saying I'm in bad shape in my real body? Oh, I didn't say that. May, I am made of clay. Could you run, jump, and fall like this in your real body? No. Exactly. So, enjoy it while it lasts. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Cody! That looks like a shooting range! Pretty angry. Yeah, they do. Oh, oh are you ready for this? I'm not sure. Yeah, stupid question.
don't kill me. I'm just a beetle. <coughs> I don't even like the wasps. So why are you on their side? I'm a mercenary. I fight for anyone who pays me the food and shelter. What food? Huh? Worms? Slugs? Larvae? No, I'm a vegetarian and gluten-free. I get paid nectar. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you know, the queen, she has all the nectar. Huh? So if you help us take her down, you can have as much nectar as you want. I can? Yes, you can have it all. <laughs> oh, yummy. Oh. What? what are we waiting for? Come on, jump on. Make it jump, Pogi! I'm trying! Hey, Beetle, slow down! Pogi, slow it down! I can't! And stop Maxi driving! Ugh! Oh, down once! Shoot them! Kill them, eh? Stop Maxi shooting! Oh, neck! Yummy! Ah! <laughs> 
No, no, no. I told you. See? It's a robot. It's a stupid bumblebee! No! Oh, wait! Don't hurt me! Look! It's Nectar! She's kept Nectar for us! Oh, don't take my Nectar! Let's kill it all! You are one of the noblest pollinators in nature. I, I am? Yeah, of course. Bees pollinate crops that feed 90% of the human population. Without you guys, huh? well, humans would just die. Oh. He's right. Really? So I am special? No! You're a traitor. And you two, why haven't you killed the traitor? You should help save us. Yeah. I'm special! Yeah, and all the wasps have gone. I mean, we don't need to kill her, do we? Huh? Oh, so you're on the same team now? Shoot them all! Hey, North! North! Good luck! Oh. Hey! Take us with you! Hey! We just saved your furry ass! Oh. Come on, Cody! Over here! You drive! What? Hey, this is a plane! Oh. It's not a station wagon! Just fly! Where's the gas? Oh. Hold your fire! Man the cannons! I want air coverage! Cold nights! Hunt them down! Go, go, go! Put it in that thing! 
going to say goodbye to the doll. Can't wait to smash your wooden face. I can't wait to kick your furry ass. Dick again. Okay. I won't bother you. But, but when you feel better, maybe we can play with Moon Baboon again. And all the other space toys you got for me. We haven't played with them in a long time. Oh, um, I talked to Dad. I think he wants you two to become friends again. I just wanted you to know. Comedian, you know that? Oh, thank you. 
Look, there she is. Oh, I miss her. Do you think she's okay? Well, she looks fine. I mean, she's playing like nothing happened. Thank goodness. Let's go and talk to her. Yeah, but we should be careful. We don't want to scare her. Are you saying I'm too harsh with her? No, no. I meant she might get scared when she sees us. I mean, look at us. We've turned into a couple of dolls, remember? Of course I remember. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, are you really ready to talk to Rose? Why not? She's our daughter. Well, can you talk to her without fighting each other? Of course we can. Rose isn't the problem. He is. She is. You see? I don't think you are ready. Wait, is he trying to stop us? I think that he is. And are we going to let him? No! no. Uh. <laughs>